हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वेलकम टू गवर्नमेंट प्राइवेट जॉब अलर्ट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आर पार्ट थ्री और पार्ट फोर ऑफ टुडे इज टेन एम एग्जाम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डेटा सफिशियंसी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वी गैस की जो आपका पैटर्न है द पैटर्न ऑफ द इन्फोस हैज लिटिल बिट चेंज दे हैव चेंज द पैटर्न बिकॉज इन दिस डेटा सफिशियंसी क्वेश्चन आपके जो है काफी ज्यादा और जो पाई चार्ट जो आपके चार्ट के क्वेश्चन है दैट हैज इंक्रीज टू एन एक्सटेंड मीन कुछ ज्यादा ही लेवल के कुछ क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं अच्छे क्वेश्चन है नो डाउट और मोस्टली क्या है कि आपके जो डाटा सफिशियंसी के क्वेश्चन है वो बहुत ज्यादा पूछे गए हैं आपके एग्जाम में सो so, चलिए इसी के रिगार्डिंग हम बात करेंगे एक शॉर्ट वीडियो हम आपके लिए लेकर आए हैं सो दैट यू हैव योर थ्री पी एम ऑफ द एग्जाम सो उसके लिए भी आपकी काफी हेल्पफुल हो सके और जिन स्टूडेंट्स ने एग्जाम दिया है दे कैन ऑल्सो मैच देयर आंसर सो नाउ कमिंग टू द पॉइंट सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन सो वी विल बी डीलिंग इन द डेटा सफिशियंसी क्वेश्चन and some technical ability questions also technical ability questions also we are going to discuss so watch the video till the end and if you did not get anything you can ask in the comment section or you have any doubt regarding your infosys exam also or anything related so you can ask in the comment section also before that we have our telegram groups also so you can join the telegram groups the name of the telegram group for infosys is infosys exam discussion group you can directly search or we will provide the link in the description you can join through that also so now students coming to the point so we are going to discuss about the data sufficiency questions the main main motive is data sufficiency questions but we will also include some questions of technical ability also so now coming to the first question so as you can see on the screen sam anna noah started a business so they are three persons sam anna and your your noah started a business uh, and your out of 100% the share sam owes 15% more than noah that means jo your noah having x getting mean total 100% are there and your sam is having x plus 15 your sam is having x plus 15 so you can see now uh, noah while uh, anna owes 20% more than noah how many does noah has noah has x so this anna 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 you can call it anything so this uh, contains your 20% more than your noah noah is having x then again x plus 20 getting that means uh, if noah is having 10 it will be having your 25 and it will be having your 30 getting so now coming to the point what is the percentage share does noah have so how many does she have if we will count the percentage share so you can see if we will be counting like if he is having 50% of the share so he must be having 65 he must be having your uh, 70% of the share so now we can also adjust like uh, if because we have to tell the approximate share but if your noah is only having the 50% share then this must be having 65 this must be having 70% of the share so this we cannot conclude because the total share is 100% so what we can check it in this so what we can do is you have to check from the smallest term what is the smallest term there let me tell you so the smallest term is your uh, 22% so what you can do is 20, if noah is having 22% so sam will be having 37% getting and uh, your uh, a anna anna what you can call it he must be having your 42% so according to that also so when you will calculate all of them so 22 your plus 37 and your 42 so this is 101% so approximately the correct answer will be your 22% because if you will choose any of the other options that will cross 100% and this the total of this is 101% now the in the question also it is written please check to the approximate value so your approximate value can be 22 because the total is 101 so this is all around to 100% getting because isme dekhi what is asked in the question is what is the percentage share does noah have now coming to the next question uh, anna anna what you can call it and noah finishes a job in 15 days and anna 20 days to finish the work alone what will be time taken by noah to finish the same job alone i guess we have done this question already so this is the repeated question what you have to do this is a this is n he is doing it in uh, 15 and uh, no is it is doing in 20 so what you can do you have to just simply take the lcm and if you have not seen our other videos of uh, reasoning ability and uh, puzzle questions so you can go through those videos also that will be really helpful to you this is 4 this is 3 so now what you have to do uh, this uh, 15 days uh, anna and jo okay mean 15 days is taken by both of them a and n 
Noah and Anna. So four units work they both are doing and there your uh, Anna takes 20 days. Okay, this is Anna. Uh, sorry in hurry, I did not get it. This is Anna. Anna takes only 20 days. So see, Anna plus Noah takes four units of the work and Anna alone takes three units of the work. That means Noah takes one unit of the work and to complete the work, we have to divide by one. So 60 upon one. The correct answer will be your 60 days. So check your answer. D is the correct answer. Now coming to the data sufficiency questions, as I told you that we will be discussing the data sufficiency questions because uh, Infosys has uh, focused a bit more on the data sufficiency questions this time. Now you can see assume that X and Y are children of Z. That means they both are children of Z. So that means uh, uh, here it can be X and here it can be Y. Getting? Now coming to the point, which of these statements would be sufficient to determine the father of X? That means you have to tell key who is the father of X. So T is the brother of uh, T is the brother of X. Okay, you can mention it here only. T is the brother of X, and T is the son of S. And T kya hai? T hai aapke son hai S K. That means if T is the son, so T is the son of S. T kya hai? Son hai S K, and uh, you can see, and uh, children of Z. That means Z and S both are father and mother but we do not know which one is father and which one is mother we know that they both are couples getting but we do not know ki kaun male hai mein kaun female hai. now coming to the point p is the mother of y if p is the mother of y okay determine the father of x so if p is the mother you can check it agar aapke p mother hai aapke paas you have p is the mother that means p is the mother of y okay if P is the mother of Y, P is the okay, okay, okay. So you can see this is the other statement and this is other statement. But according to the first statement, we did not have that much sufficient information that we can tell which one is father. That means first statement is not enough. So now rubbing the first statement, uh, I'll tell you uh, this is S and this is T. Now coming to the next statement. So in the next statement, what it is mentioned, see, assume that X and Y are the children of Z, okay, and P is the mother of Y, and P is the mother, that means who is the father now, father is Z, Z is the father, so that means only from the second option, we could get the correct answer, so the correct answer will be your option 2, getting, so now coming to the next question, which of these statements would be sufficient to determine the total sale of company XYZ? So see, this is little bit uh, tricky question because see, we have to tell the total sale of company XYZ. Getting? So in the first statement, what it is mentioned, XYZ sold 10,000 units of glasses, each costing 800 rupees. Getting? That means he sold 10,000 units and what we have to tell? We have to tell the total sales. But in the first statement, they have not mentioned that this is the total sale or not. But according to the second statement, XYZ does not sell any other product. That means XYZ ne sirf 10,000 unit of eyeglasses he sell ki hai, they have not sold anything. That means, agar hum dono questions ko closely monitor karein, because according to some students, I know ki aapka first answer hoga, but they have told that you have to tell the total sale. And for telling the total sale, you must know that the company has sold anything else or only the eyeglasses so i personally suggest that the answer should be option one and two both so the answer will be d option both one and two are sufficient getting because mm -hmm. hame ye nahi pata ki sirf jo company xyz thi unhone sirf glasses hi sell kiye the ya koi aur item bhi tha they have that they sold so i guess you got this question uh, now coming to the next question so as you can see on the screen, which of these statements would be sufficient to determine how many girls are seated between Paula and Anna in a row of girls. Okay. So which of these statements would be sufficient to determine how many girls are uh, seated between Paula and Anna in a row of girls? I guess this question is insufficient. I guess there must be something. Uh, let me check once if it is there. So we are not able to find the question. Where is that question? So you can tell us uh, in the comment section also uh, like uh, you have to write the uh, timing of the video and after that you have to write uh, Paula and Anna and then you have to tell the answer to us. We will cross check to it. Getting? So this is the question. You can uh, go through it because I uh, we guess uh, our team has forgotten to write the statements there because uh, they have mentioned one statement and two statements. That means both the statements should be there in the question. Then only we can 
answer this getting so now coming to the next point so you can see sophie is beautiful okay no beautiful is fair okay and all fair persons are smart that means sophie is beautiful that means this is sophie and she is beautiful she is this getting and no beautiful is fair that means no beautiful none of the beautiful is fair you can write there like this this is fair and while writing the cross on the point that means they are not matching to each other getting now all fair persons are smart so all fair persons so all the fair persons mean these are the fair persons these are smart getting so what is the question now read the question carefully which of these choices are true if the above given statements are true okay mean these all the statements are true what they have told so you have to tell according to the choices now sophie is fair can you say sophie is fair because there is cross there is cross that means sophie is not fair getting sophie is smart this is sophie and this is smart so they both are different and they are uh, separated by a cross sign that means this cannot be the answer coming to the next point some smart people are sophie this is sophie this is smart some smart people are sophie is it so uh, is, if there is any possibility then we can think about it but there is no possibility as in the yesterday video i told you about the possibility case that means this can also be not the correct situation that means your correct answer will be your d option so the correct answer will be none of the above should be the answer to this question so now coming to the next question we are doing it hurry because aapka 3 baje exam hai so we thought ki aap ye sari cheeze dekh lijiye pehle hi which of these statements is the inverse of the given statement this is not inverse uh, i guess this is the converse converse means same statement i will check it to it accordingly so you will answer to me accordingly getting so this is converse so if betty attend classes then she is punctual means if she attends the classes then only she is punctual getting mean if you attend the classes और इफ यू आर सीरियस टू योर स्टडी देन ओनली यू आर इंटेलिजेंट मीन्स अगर आप सीरियस हो स्टडीज में सिर्फ तभी आप इंटेलिजेंट हो सकते हो इफ यू आर नॉट सीरियस दैट मीन्स यू आर नॉट इंटेलिजेंट गेटिंग सो वट दे हैव मैंशन इफ बेटी अटेंड क्लासेज देन शी इज पंचुअल मीन्स अगर वो अटेंड करेंगी क्लासेज को तो ही वो पंचुअल होंगी गेटिंग सो इफ बेटी डज नॉट अटेंड क्लासेज सी इज नॉट पंचुअल ओके इट मेक सम सेंस इफ बेटी अटेंड क्लासेज सी इज नॉट पंचुअल दिस कैन नॉट बी द आंसर गेटिंग आफ्टर दैट If Betty does not attend classes, अगर वो classes attend नहीं करती है then she is punctual. No, never. None of the above. That means you can see if Betty does not attend classes, she is not punctual. So this intends the same meaning as we have checked there. Means both the meanings are same. This and this. So you will also answer your what you have done in the exam. And if you have anything different, you are most welcome because we are open to the feedback. So we will check through it. coming to the next question uh, so just a second so coming to the next question so you can see there the pie chart given below shows the company expenditure on various factors required for the company to run smoothly it is given that the maintenance and essential accounts to rupees 1 lakh okay find the amount allocated for the employee welfare so you can see this is the employee welfare 23.4% and and see to it it is given that maintenance and essential accounts not this is not accounts this is amounts maintenance and essentials amounts to rupees 1 lakh that means this is maintenance and this is in essentials that means 14.9% 14.9 9.7% 14.9 plus 9.7% so this is how much this is your 7714 and 216 or this is 1 94 13 and 1 14 1 and one this is 24.6 so 24.6 means 1 lakh getting so how much 23.4 means getting that means 1 lakh upon this 24.6 into 23.4 so you will get your answer accordingly tell me in the comment section what you got the answer only what you have to do 1 lakh upon 24.6 into there into and 23.4 so this is the only solution you have to do in this question so this is the basic so i guess you all will do so now coming to the next question if a polygon has five sides then it is a pentagon that means agar kisi polygon ki five sides hain to hi sirf wo pentagon hoga getting i you got the question now uh, check the point d statement converse of the given statement that means aapko ye batana hai ki ye inse kya rely karta hai या सेम जो स्टेटमेंट है वो कहां पे है इसकी सो सी इफ अ पॉलीगन हैज फाइव साइड्स देन इट इज नॉट पेंटागन सो दिस इज अ पॉजिटिव थिंग 
if polygon does not have five sides it is a pentagon this is also a different thing because what we have to find here if a polygon has five sides it is pentagon getting so what you can do if the polygon is pentagon then it has five sides this is also the correct point now checking the last point only if a polygon does not have five sides then it is not a pentagon and if the polygon is a pentagon agar koi polygon pentagon hai uh, then it has five sides okay so if a polygon does not have five sides it is not a pentagon okay so you can go with both the points point 3 and point 4 because if a polygon has five sides then it is a pentagon and if the polygon is a pentagon then it has five sides okay and if a polygon does not have five sides then it is not a pentagon okay both the statements are true so i'll ask you ki what you will choose to it c and d because i guess there can be some uh, misprinting error also so you can check it at once and you can tell us in the comment section so students this is all about from our side i guess uh, you all have got the point key how you have to deal with the data sufficiency questions also so and i wish you ki jo aapka 3 pm wala exam hai so you will do it good and i also want ki jo aapke answers hai you must tell in the comment section jo bhi aapke 10 am ka exam hua tha uske bare mein aap hume zaroor bataiye ga to chaliye students milte hai next video mein so we will be discussing 3 pm exam analysis also so channel se jude rahiye channel ko subscribe kar lijiye and press bell icon so that you will get the updates earlier all the best and 